We are yeah. back with yeah. another freaking video. Back with another freaking video, man. Bring you another Australia videos. Before we get started, baby, go ahead and bring them on in. The yeah. Door. So glad you're with us, did you guys. Blow a, a burp. I did. A so gun. glad you're here, guys, with us for another dope video. This is a little different from our usual, our usual, our usual, usual reaction trend. So let us know what you think about this one in the comment section below. And subscribe, y'all. So we got, so Ricky is a Garvis. <laughs> <laughs> we just said it five times. Gr Rick. I think it's Gerbe or Gerbaz. Ricky Gervas monologue, 2020 Golden Globes. Let's see what this is. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the 77th annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais. Thank Gervais. you. Gervais. Um, you'll, you'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking. I never did. Um, <laughs> NBC clearly don't care either, fifth time. So, I mean, Kevin Hart was fired from the Oscars because of some offensive tweets. Hello. <laughs> Lucky for me, the Hollywood foreign press can barely speak English. And they've no idea what Twitter is. So I got offered this gig by fax. So let's go out with a bang. <laughs> let's have a laugh at you your about expense, facts. shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die soon, and there's no sequel. So <laughs> you talking about COVID? Yeah, remember that. Um, but you all look lovely, all doled up. You came Brad. here in limos. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So no, <laughs> shush. It's a, it's a daughter. I feel sorry for. Okay, that must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. <laughs> so, wait, 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 stop. Are you talking about the um, college scam video? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were like, damn, bro. But yeah, that was crazy. Get me into the talk I know she said, I feel for her daughter too. That was crazy. Okay. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. So, lots of big celebrities here tonight. I mean, legends, icons, yeah? Look, at this table alone. Uh, Al Pacino, Robert De Niro. But... Woo, look at Robert De Niro, yeah. Al Baby Pacino. Yoda. Uh, oh, that's, uh -oh. that's Joe Pesci, sorry. Um, <laughs> Roast. Um, Roast. But tonight isn't just about the people in front of the camera. In this room are some of the most important TV and film executives in the world. People from every background, but they all have one thing in common. They're all terrified of Ronan Farrow. <laughs> He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Look. <laughs> Their face. Get this, get this ass off stage. That's what he looked like you said. I'm not too happy about that. Talking of all you perverts, it was a big year. From pedophile movies. It was a big year movies. for pedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly. Leaving Neverland, two popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. He is not playing. He ain't smiling. Look at that solid face. Look at that face. Many talented people of color were snubbed in major categories. Um, uh, uh -oh. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So, uh -oh. fifth time. So. Tom has, that's an incredulous look. I know, he's like, what the heck? Uh, oh my God. <laughs> right. Hank? <laughs> he's like, oh, I was about to laugh, but now I have to change my mind. Right. We were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse I'm going to say, but ain't too many black folks in the audience, no way. Go back and look. Ain't but a few salt. Ain't but a few pepper shakes up in there, bro, bro. It's like, where's Waldo for black people in there? <laughs> I see one right there. But anyway. ...this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just, no. It was mostly white people. And I thought, nah, not on my watch. So, maybe next year. Let's, let's see what happens. 
No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done, Netflix, you win. Everything. Good night. But no, no, <laughs> we've got to drag it out for three hours. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife <sighs> instead of watching this show. That, that's a show about a man who wants to kill himself because his wife dies of cancer. And it's still more fun than this. OK? <laughs> Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Shut up. I know he's your friend, but I don't care. I don't even know who that is. Me either. You have to make your own way here and your own plan. People are like, oh my god, this oh, is... Oh, they do that. I Maybe. can't believe he's saying this. Didn't you? Probably right. saying stuff but that they think thinking. Seriously, most films are awful. Lazy. Remakes. Sequels. I've heard a rumour that there might be a sequel to Sophie's Choice. Uh-oh. I mean, that would just be Meryl Streep going, well, it's got to be this one then. <laughs> and nobody's thinking it's hilarious. They are pissed. All the best actors have jumped to Netflix and HBO, you know. And the actors who just do Hollywood movies now do fantasy adventure nonsense. They wear masks and capes and really tight costumes. Their job isn't acting anymore. Uh -oh. It's going to the gym twice a day and taking steroids, really. Have we got, a, have we got an award for most ripped junkie? No. Huh. No point. We know he'd win that. Um, Stop. Martin Scorsese, Ooh. the greatest living director, made the news for his controversial comments about the Marvel franchise. Uh -oh. He said they're not real cinema and uh, they remind him of theme parks. I agree. Although I don't know what he's doing hanging around theme parks. He's not big enough to go on the rides, is he? <laughs> he's tiny. He said that's true. That's true. <laughs> right. The Irishman was amazing. It was amazing. Um, that, it was. My, my, it was great. Uh, long, but amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long, Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So, <laughs> She is talking through her teeth. I don't give a damn what she says. <laughs> Stop it. Just staying in there. He's fired. <laughs> you say he didn't care, he wasn't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Even Prince care? Andrew's like, come on, Leo, mate. You know, <laughs> you're nearly 50, son. Um, <laughs> the world got to see James Corden as a fat pussy. He was also in the movie Cats, but no one saw that. Um, and the reviews are oh, shocking. I saw one roasted. that said, this is the worst thing to happen to cats since dogs. Right? <laughs> but Dame Judi Dench defended the film, saying it was the role she was born to play. Because she... I can't do this next joke. <laughs> because she Ellen. loves nothing better than plonking herself down on the carpet lifting her leg and licking her Oh. Wow. That's, um, that Purple. was Captain, Captain America. America. She's old school. Um, <laughs> it's the last time. He said, she sat there and plopped her on the, on the carpet and lifted it and licked yeah, your Yeah, I know, you don't have to repeat it, babe. Who cares? <laughs> oh. Apple roared into the, the TV game with a morning show. A superb drama, yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. Uh -oh. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a uh -oh. streaming service, you'd call your agent, wouldn't you? So, if you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and... So, 
Where bro home? is ripping. It's turning from joke to damn. I'm letting you have it. Uh, I'm really roasting you for real, for real, I and I don't care. How many beers you get, get up there? Huh? I wonder how many beers you had before we got up there. Couple. It's already three hours long. Bruh, she was this like, is serious mm. because everyone is like, this isn't funny. This is messed up. Bruh. But he's but he telling the truth yep. in his candid humor. Right, let's do the first award. The first award. The first award is for best actor in a television series, musical or comedy. To present the award are a couple of actors off the telly. What can I say? Jennifer Aniston and Reese Witherspoon. Dang, look, he oh. was for real. Look at his face when he got off. Dang. Bruh, this was... Okay. I thought it was supposed to be like funny, but it seems like wait, he was for real. Wait, look at his face what again. is the comment saying? Oh. He lost 80% of the celebrities' respect and gained 80 more percent of the people's respect. Anyone else just love how uncomfortable Tom Hanks looks? All the way. Interview after this. He's had people in the Like room, everyone else in America. The the people who were watching. Like everyone else in America. I didn't watch the fucking world this year. I didn't return to watch. Okay. Should I'll never be invited know? back, but nobody's watching anyway. Bro, was, this was serious. Mm. Bro. At first, I thought he was just playing. Like a roast. Like yeah. a roast. Yeah. But at the, when you saw his face at the end, he was like, okay. He was like, I'm yeah, like. Somebody need to say it. Because when you look out there in the audience, I'm sorry. You only, I didn't see any black people out there. No, not one. And he said a lot. I got snubbed. He, he made that comment. He was that like, was what? Weird, you know, it bro. is what it that is. That was weird, bro. How not, I ain't seen that one black person. The I one saw, you saw one. Front, she, was, she, was, she was Indian. She wasn't black. But no, there was a guy there. I thought he looked black. Bro, why was no black people there? Or were they somewhere that we didn't see? But no, because no, that was yeah. too many. It was too many. Yeah, because ra ra all the tables there, they can sit wherever they want in the place. That's kind of messed up. So, well, I, I now understand why he may have been feeling the way he felt. Dang! Wow. He said, "Well, but that's why he started off. But he started off how he started it off. I, I wonder if they had any idea what he was gonna say. I doubt it." Cause you write your own speech, right? Yeah. That is crazy. I've never sat through a Golden Globe. Me either. I'm boy. He... Hold on. He may be British, but he's an American hero after this. <laughs> okay. For real. Uh. Bruh, he ate. Wow. He cooked. Bruh, I want to go back and look and Google that and see if any anything. But now, cause it's it went it was in other. Oh no, that that was five years ago. Wow. Yeah, he has been doing it for a minute, bro. Mm. Well. He said, go up, get your award. Thank your, whoever, thank your God. And then glow. I said, bro, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Okay, I'm still speechless, man. All right, man, go ahead and send him on home. I'm still, that wow. That was like hard. Yeah. yeah and I no. guess he's hosted them years before. Yeah, he, you can see it right in the timeline. And he played along too. Like this is the fifth one, my last one. I don't care. I'm about to, I'm about to keep it real this time. Pretty much. Dang. Well, there you have it, guys. He said what was on his mind, and it is what it is. It ain't what it, it ain't. It is what it is. From flam god darn. Get those hickory charcoals burn. Put a sock in and tongue too much burn. Like the baby said is my Turn. All right, guys. Appreciate you for hanging out with us for another dope video. This was pretty good. This was interesting. I mean, I've never watched the Golden Globe, but he let him have it, y'all. Ate him up. All right, we'll see you on the next one, man. Yeah. Bye-bye.